Hey guys, okay, so um, I'm gonna be looking away from the camera a few times, but I wanted to let you know, we still have clothes, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna switch it around. This is part of our clothes stash, so some of it's mine, some is Josh's. Uh, the girls have clothes too. Um, so we are not lacking in clothes. Um, we actually probably could go two weeks almost without um, doing laundry if we had enough undergarments. I think that's what we don't have is two weeks worth of undergarments, right? I think that's right. So anyway, we um, have been trying to explore the options because we have these like little, I don't know if, um, I'm going to show you guys, these little cubbies over here, they're like, um, it's supposed to be hanging closets. But as you can tell, like our hanging stuff is me and Josh is crammed into one. And then you're basically out of space. So we created these amazing drawers that are underneath our, um, they're underneath. And then when you sit on the one part of the bed, it won't open, but they open underneath and they're, um, part of what used to be a dog, um, crate. So, um, since our dog, Mr. B, um, is too big for, I don't know if you can see him over there in the far, um, but anyway, he's too big for that crate. Um, so we never used it for a crate. So we decided to make it into drawers. Now I am climbing over my bed, so bear with me. Um, now we did a couple modifications to just the bedroom alone, um, we put in a king size mattress, um, which has a little overlap here, but it's kind of nice because when Gracie sleeps with us, she can still sleep here and not hit her head. So it makes it nice. Um, the other thing that we modified in here was the drawers. And then um, we took out the door here that goes to the bathroom, which is actually... Um, the door's no longer there, but the track is in the other room that created a door that was a blocker that we couldn't get it open or close very well. So we made it into a sliding type barn door. Um, but anyway, back to the closet situation. Um, we have medical supplies and some closet clothes up here. On that side over there, I have my um, journaling and coloring stuff and a humidifier and a diffuser for when the kids are sick and it's mosquito season I'm trying to think what else is up there i can't remember so under our bed we have a, another compartment that we put shoes in which is really cool it's like right about where those shirts are um but then we decided to kind of explore like how we could use this other hanging side so right now it's empty but we went to target and purchased this for ten dollars and you can put your clothes and all your stuff in it. So it's really nice. And then behind it, what's really nice, and I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's kind of hard in the dark. But there's actually winter and some, like, socks and pantyhose that we only use in the winter that um, are stored behind there. And we could probably stack it up all the way to the top, but we chose not to. So I think it's kind of like a very, for me, um, amazing innovation. Um we did do a, another modification to the um, windows. We actually put darkening shades behind these shades that can be taken down. So, like, if we decide we ever don't want them or whatever, we can do that. Um, there were also these really creepy, um, I thought they were creepy, but they were, like, little, they came down along the window right there, and then they kind of tucked over and you got caught on them whenever you like walked past them. So we took those down. Um, they were just Velcro and screwed into the wall. Um, we never decided to put a TV up and that's partially personal. We don't wanna have a TV in this room. It's kind of cramped. Um, but as you can see, it's connected straight to our bathroom, which is nice, but it's also a disadvantage because you can't really sleep while someone's going to the bathroom. It's not convenient. Um, but we are working on reorganizing clothes as Josh is putting his down there and I'm going to be putting mine back up here um, partially because he gets up before me so it's going to give him the opportunity to get clothes put away before or get his clothes out before me um, yeah this is just our bedroom it's just very cozy um, we kind of like it that way um, I know that my next rig um, 
I say rig, but it's really, I want to go from a trailer to a fifth wheel. And, um, this is just our journey, our beginning journey. Um, but we are officially in here. We moved in on what middle of February, the middle of February, 2019. So, um, we have been slowly adjusting. We are staying currently stationary in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and, um, we don't know how long we'll be here or when God will move us, but right now we're um, just outside of downtown, which is really nice because it's great close to some eateries and the shops that we need to get to, like Walmart and Target. And it's also really nice because it's not, um, I don't know, it's not like trailer RV parky, but it's... Um, close enough to Garden of the Gods that we can go hiking and Ute Valley, which we haven't taken advantage of yet. I think that's our next goal. And um, we're going to also explore more of downtown um, Old Colorado City and Colorado Springs as we journey. Um, one of my favorite places, though, I will let you guys know is um, Pikes Peak Lemonade. They are Oh my gosh, I love them. They sell it online and you can get it delivered to your house anywhere in the U.S. And when we leave here, trust me, we will be taking some because two years it can sit in my pantry or two weeks in my refrigerator. It doesn't ever last two weeks, but um, I don't even know that it would last two years in my pantry, but um, it's really great stuff. So anyway, back to what I'm doing. I'm just rearranging our bedroom, and I just wanted to give an update to everybody that we do manage to live in very, very small quarters very, very sufficiently. Um, we have lots of storage spaces that aren't storage that we've stuck medical equipment um, which is one reason I want a fifth wheel next time so we have cubbies to put all the medical. Um, but I think that's it. You want to say anything, Josh? He doesn't want to say anything. So, anyway, I'm almost at eight minutes and I thought I'd let, let you guys go because I just got hiccups. So, uh, talk to you later.